the cloud. Hold on, you listen to my joke. I oh, have a joke. okay. <laughs> All right. If you're American when you go in the bathroom and you're American when you come out of the bathroom, what are you while you're in the bathroom? European. <laughs> I'm so proud of myself. I knew the answer to that she one. Did it. <laughs> I love that. I love it. That's awesome. Okay. So tonight is obviously back office. So I'm going to share screen. Show you guys. As soon as I did that, I now have waiting room popping up. Okay, so my favorite thing that I accidentally found actually um, is under contact us. And I literally found this um, kind of like Alicia just clicking around and playing and having fun. So it's contact us, but then it's this FAQ section. Um, so like I said, literally, like I just came through here clicking all the things um, and found this FAQ section. Just thought it might be like basic stuff. Um, of course, my screen is not on. Take us to it. So I guess we're just going to wait on that. Um, but I found all kinds of stuff in here that I actually see asked a lot in the chats. Um, so we have so many resources in Thrive Army. Like, obviously, Courtney has done a fantastic job building websites and links. I mean, just so many things. We actually have a um, resource page that she built of FAQs. Um, so that's great. Um, always use those things because she she spends a lot of money on stuff designing stuff like that for us so um absolutely utilize those things i'm not saying don't do that and come to this instead but um a, there's a lot of answers back here too some of them i will say disclaimer are outdated um i was going through again tonight just to kind of pick out like my absolute favorites to show you guys and there are things um, like promo codes that we don't necessarily have. Every now and then the company will do a, a special on the weekend and they'll give us a promo code at that point. Um, but there used to be, Tracy, you know more about the promo codes than I do. Um, I don't know how those work. Obviously it doesn't matter because they don't really exist, but there's a whole list of FAQs around those. So <laughs> I kind of want to email support and be like, so are you going to update this stuff or... <laughs> They actually, they took them away the same day that they launched Sculpt. So imagine that range of emotion that we all have. Like we were so excited about Sculpt, but then they were like, oh, by the way, instead of promo codes, oh, we now get free mini experiences. And we were like, but we already have mini experiences. It was, it was chaos. So um, coming in here, some of my favorites, um, we ask a lot, a lot about, um, where we ship to. We get asked that all the time. So this is obviously one of my favorite things because it literally lists them all out. Um, granted, again, this has not been updated to reflect the um, Asian countries that were added. So give that some time. I, like I said, I really just want to message support and be like, so this is a great resource. Can we update it? Um, but there are things like the promoter return policy um, and it spells it all out. Um, I forgot to add my credits, now what? Um, so according to this, I've never done it, but according to this, you can actually add credits to an order that's processing if you submit a ticket. Um, obviously they do not apply to promoter upgrade packages still, um, and they cannot be used to cover the shipping costs. But if you forgot to enable your credits, um, it's absolutely worth messaging support and asking. Um, another question I see a lot is about some states having sales tax. So some do and some don't. Um, this is something that I was really curious. Like people were asking, you know, why do, why do I have sales tax? My friend doesn't have sales tax. Well, I'm sorry that you live in a different state, but I was not sure. I was kind of trying to pick the pieces together, or like put the puzzle together and figure out which states did and which states didn't until I found this. And I was like, oh, hey, look, they did it for me. Um, so, um, 
this is great because it literally gives you all the states um, that will have sales tax. Now, of course, the, the tax applied depends on their state um, and then county, I guess, in some places. So um, check this if you have any of those questions ever pop up. It goes into commissions and um, let's see, there's a lot of Pioneer questions, how to um, set up your Pioneer, how to change your method for receiving commissions. You can switch between manual and automatic. Um, so that shows you how to do that. Contacting Pioneer information. One of the best parts of this section, in my opinion, is the Infinity Fast Start um, commissions and how they're paid out. And it literally spells it out. It says, okay, let's pretend you're A. Um, sorry, I'm admitting lots of waiting room. Pretend you're A, you know, here's your levels one through three. Um, so when promoter D purchases, this is how you get paid out. And then it actually shows you when you have an inactive sponsor. Um, so in this case, promoter C is inactive. They receive $0. It rolls up to the next one. Um, so it shows you there's never a double up on the payout. It just rolls up and continues to be paid out until all four levels are paid. Um, so that's a cool thing. And then it talks about the fees that um, Pioneer charges. And we're waiting here. Um, and how it's paid. So the first time is $8.95, then the $2 load fee. Um, and then the, for the cards, the activation fees and stuff for that. Um, you can't avoid the fees, but you can actually um, bulk up your commission checks and transfer everything at one time so that you only pay that fee, the transfer fee one time a month or whatever you decide to do. Um, when do you get your 1099s? Um, what to do if it's got the wrong address or if it's telling you have an invalid social? Um, come back here and get all those answers. Um, why do you need a social security number? Obvious. Um, for 1099s, sorry, I skipped that part. Um, you will get a 1099 if you have made $600 or more in a calendar year. So be mindful of that because that's when you would need to then claim on taxes, which are um, a lot of people are dealing with right now. Um, why does it say not active or not qualified? It's got those answers. You can actually change your username. Um, it walks you through having to do that, um, which of course your username is linked to your Lavelle referral links. Um, so I thought that was cool that you can actually change it. Um, how does your customer become a promoter? Um, how do you change or sponsor teams? So this is for if you get incidentally placed under someone else. Um, if someone is a promoter or a customer of somebody else, there are waiting periods, be mindful of that. So that's not to answer that. But um, how do you change to an LLC or a partnership? Um, a lot of us, um, or a lot of our upper, upper levels on our team actually have done this. So it, it shows you walking through some of that. Um, a lot of these answers refer you back to compliance or they have you message support to get approval for some th things such as marketing. Um, so be mindful of those things as well. Um, I wish I could say we always got approval from support for things we don't necessarily. Um, I would absolutely check with your upline if you're not sure on what needs approval and what doesn't. Um, or of course, go. you can go to the, the policies and procedures, a very, very lengthy book, but um, there are lots of answers in there as well. I'm really not green, as green as I look, but it comes out when stuff like this happens. So um, I see Jordan, Miss Green down there smiling. Um, how does waiting room work? This explains what waiting room is and how it works. Please reach out to your upline. Don't go play around with waiting room. That's like the one thing that you should not just jump into and try to play with because um, it is permanent once you move those. So um, always check in with a 12K or up when you have waiting room and if you're curious about how to build a stronger leg using it. Um, Lavelle images for marketing. And then it talks about how your information is protected with putting in card information, data collection and all that. Rewards plans, here's all the auto bonus questions. Um, they have not added the trucks to this. This is another thing that I think they desperately need to update. Um, they've even gone beyond the trucks now and there's like the Bronco and the Gladiators. 
that I don't believe has even been updated on the flyer for auto bonus. So there's a lot of things like that that really desperately need to be updated. Um, so if you have questions about that and you've checked here, you know, reach out to your upline and say, hey, look, I checked in the FAQs. Um, I looked at the flyer. Remind me again if, you know, what, what I didn't find in those resources and they can help you with that. Um, when is it paid? Always the second Tuesday. All of our bonuses come out second Tuesday of the month. Um, things like co-signers, um, you do have to be on the agreement. Um, go VIP timers, all these things. Refer to program, how does it work? Um, how can I tell if a promoter's active based on list this month or last? Um, I think those are kind of cool questions. Qualifications for Auto Elite. We only have a couple of those on our team. That's a really cool thing. If you're interested in being a pro with Auto Elite, Tracy is your go-to. Um, age of the vehicle, so it's five years, but they count the year before it, the model, you know, because technically cars come out the year before. So they do count that. Um, that's something that I think is important to know. Um, support hours, can you create your own groups? Um, this is a big thing, um, 200Ks and above. So this, that's a big, big thing that needs to be addressed. Um, you can't just go make a Facebook group or um, fan pages and stuff like that to advertise from. Um, you absolutely need to um, just stick to Messenger, stick to RCM, stick to things like that. Um, it even comes down into advertising in newspapers and magazines and stuff. Technically you can, that's one of those things that they want you to submit to compliance to have approved prior to. Um, car decals, this section, they said they're granting approval on a limited basis while the graphic department creates decals. Those are now available in your Lavelle gear store. I believe the cheaper ones are like eight bucks. Um, I, it's absolutely just worth buying theirs. Um, they're good quality. I have one and I love it. Um, instead of having your own made apparel, um, no, you're not allowed to make your own t-shirts with the Lavelle logos and stuff on it. Um, it's copyrighted, obviously, so that's that's a big reason why. They are based in Eastern time, um, so all promotions and everything come out during that time. Um, so be mindful if you are not Eastern time, um, like obviously the end of the day, especially at the end of the month, um, those windows close. And, you know, Sundays, if you're trying to get orders crunched in, those close. Um, so that's important stuff. Customer can't remember password. It actually shows you, um, obviously try the forgot password thing first. If they're not receiving emails, haven't checked their spam folder, if they're still unable to locate it, you can send an email to this email address right here, support at lavelle.com um, with login assistance needed on the subject line. You are gonna get an automated response, but they will um, email you again with actual help. So that's something that is, I think, really important because we have a lot of people that you know, just magically can't get into their accounts. Um, and that becomes a problem over time. So all these answers, like I said, I see a lot of these questions asked in the chats often, um, and a lot of them are back here. So um, how long does it take to transfer money to my account for Payoneer? Um, there's foreign exchange rates. Um, can I decide when to transfer payments? You can obviously do it manually. Um, how do I contact Payoneer? These are a lot of questions I've seen a lot lately about Payoneer. So there's a lot, a lot of resources back here. Promotional codes, like we talked about, are no longer in existence. So skip that one. Here's getaways. This is the last one. Um, who can I invite with a getaway? They just have to be 18 years and older, no kids. Um, that belongs, or that applies to Palooza too. Um, Obviously we're doing refunds on Palooza this year because of last year's mess. But um, can you bring children? I am the getaway. Can I get the cash equivalent if I choose not to go? No, you cannot. Um, the getaway will show on your 1099, the cost for it. Um, what if I need to cancel my trip, cancellation fees? There's so much information back here, guys. Um, I really just think it's a valuable resource that many didn't know exists. Um, like I said, being totally honest, I didn't realize it existed either until I just came in here and played around. So um, just something quick and easy, but obviously a vital resource that I wanted to share with you guys. Um, 
make sure you go, you know, get in there and dig around and learn your back office because it's really eye-opening when you find things that you've, like I said, the, um, the taxes or the shipping areas, that's all cool stuff that um, I just, we see a lot asked. And if you get in there and find the answers yourself, you're more likely to remember information. So um, there's a lot of people jumping in the waiting room now. We're about to wrap it up. But um, I appreciate you guys joining me tonight. Um, wanted to give Alicia a little break. And um, I know there is no social media Zoom tonight because Mandy has a headache. So um, with that said, I'm going to relieve my husband. What, Tracy, you had a question? We have Miss Tanya's Zoom tonight, though. If everybody, right. like, I can get on Miss Tanya's Zoom. So if you guys want to hop on that, I can send the flyer in Thrive Army. Yeah, absolutely do that, because I know a lot of people would, would enjoy that. Um, I appreciate you guys jumping in, though. Um, and feel free to ask, you know, sh share, share a tip or something that you found playing around um, that maybe not everybody realizes there because I feel like if I had said, hey, check the FAQs on your cloud office a lot sooner, um, there might've been some answers for other people. Um, is it Hallie says, I'm not in the Thrive Army chat. So I don't know how you want to handle that, Tracy. Let me hear, the number is, well, I'll type it in here. There's a passcode, so you'll need to write that down. Um, it's at seven central time. Three, okay, so that's seven. in 14 minutes. Yeah, three, five, six, nine. That's the number. And then this is the passcode. And that's the number zero, like the, the number. Good deal. Thank you guys. I appreciate it. I hope you learned something valuable. If not, I'm sorry that I just ranted and walked your ear off. <laughs> I didn't even know that there was an FAQ page, so you've definitely talked about well, it. Yeah, I mean, like I said, that's, this is kind of why we do this stuff, because it's cool to learn your resources. So yep. love you guys, and we will see you in the chats. Have a good night. <laughs>